Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another walk and talk on a very cold English day. We are at two degrees Celsius today, so it's a bit cold for not wearing gloves. But nonetheless, it's a good day to get out, get some fresh air, get away from the desk, and start talking to you guys in a raw, uncut way when it comes to cryptocurrency. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to basically go for a bit of a walk through the woods and talk a little bit about what's going on in the world of crypto today. As I get into today's video, Hopefully I won't fall over. Uh, if I do, smash the like button, appreciate that. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you haven't yet joined the Discord, why not check it out? Link is in the description down below. Right, let's get into today's subject matter. We are going to be talking about crypto, but more specifically on Bitcoin. Just from a price action point of view, we've seen some interesting things. And we'll talk about kind of speculative investment. What's been going on with with kind of the, the speculative side where uh, we've seen a lot of money change in hands and I'll share my thoughts and opinions on what is going on. And we'll kind of talk a little bit, I guess, about what I spoke about yesterday. I seem to split a few opinions in the comment section. So I'll kind of explain that a little bit. Um, so let's kick things off by talking about the new yearly high for Bitcoin. So we've seen Bitcoin today and the earlier hours of this morning, I say earlier hours, but you know, this morning, we saw Bitcoin push up to a new yearly high before immediately getting rejected and being pushed back down. Now, this is a testament to just how bad the market is at the moment. And it is essentially just being utilized for extraction of liquidity, right? We're seeing basically a lot of liquidity getting drained from the market. And this morning, this morning was another indication of this, right? We saw the new yearly high, no real resistance up there and an immediate rejection to the downside, essentially pump and dump. We saw basically a lot of positions getting liquidated. Uh, when this morning, when I pulled the data, we were at 39 million dollars of liquidations for Bitcoin, of which 80% were, were short positions. So as that price moved up, we liquidated all those shorts that had their stop loss above the previous high. Now, going to yesterday's video a little bit, I was talking about how it's hard to be bearish on the crypto market right now on the small probably more medium term, okay? And we're talking about the daily charts specifically when I reference medium term. And uh, so basically what we saw was at least in the comment sections of that video is how I've been bearish this entire time, not bullish, and how I've just snapped my fingers and now I'm bullish, right? Um, it's not like that at all. Essentially, I believe that that macro view still remains true. And if you had watched the video yesterday, you'll know that's exactly what I'm talking about. Essentially, the macro level, the weekly and higher, they're showing us some bearish patterns as per this morning's video. If you haven't already caught up with that one, you should probably go and check it out. Essentially, those bearish patterns still remain, but we cannot ignore what is happening on those medium time frames, which are actually flashing to us some bullish hidden divergence and an indication that you know maybe we are going to be seeing a bit of a move to the upside. And then here we are, less than 24 hours later, with you know a bit of a move to the upside for Bitcoin, a new yearly high. Okay, and again, that's testament to understanding that, yeah, the charts can be bearish on those larger time frames, but we have to take stock of what is going on right now and where things are heading on the kind of smaller to medium time frames. So I wanted to just address that video a little bit yesterday because I think some of it was taken out of context or maybe the people didn't even watch the video, just saw the, the title and the and the thumbnail and just made a conclusion, which is, which is fine if you don't really wanna watch the content don't comment because if you don't know what we're talking about in the videos, then your comment's kind of redundant. So kind of wasting your own time there uh, to a point. Um, but nonetheless, right, and obviously I say this to you guys that are watching. So again, wasting my own time, that comment's redundant. Ah, get your head around that. But anyway, moving on, new yearly high for Bitcoin. Um, and I don't think we're done just yet. I still expect us to kind of move on up just a little bit more. As I say, in most of the videos for the last few weeks, we're expecting $40,000. This morning's video I labeled up, am I crazy? Or I am crazy for calling out $40,000. Now, obviously most sane people would say, yeah, $40,000 is a very reasonable number. And there isn't any reason why you wouldn't call out $40,000. However, there are some individuals though that look at 
that and just saying there's no way that we're going to $40,000, we're going down to, to $10,000, $6,000, whatever crazy low number we want to talk about as well, right? Um, but for the most part, there's comments in the kind of the section, uh, the YouTube sections of, of the videos where, you know, people are saying that I'm crazy and that I know all too well that we're not going to $40,000. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a believer here that we are heading out towards the range of 38 and a half, or 38,750, to the 40,080 level, as per this morning's video. And so I still believe that that is very much the case. Even though we're seeing the volatility in the market, we're seeing, you know, $40 million of liquidations on Bitcoin leverage positions, and there's a lot of risk associated with leverage positions, obviously, so we have to kind of be quite careful on all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm expecting a move to the upside. And we've broken into a new yearly high this morning, and I still expect us to kind of move up into a new yearly high. Whether that's today, whether that's tomorrow, I don't know. But what I do know is that there's a high probability that we are to hit that fifth wave target high, which again was going to be a diagonal based pattern as per the video that I put out this morning. What does all this mean though on the bigger picture? Well, the bigger picture is still remaining bearish, as I kind of have been talking about for quite some time. We have that ascending wedge for Bitcoin on the weekly chart. We're overbought on the weekly, we're overbought on the, the monthly, and with everything that I'm expecting to happen on the daily time frame, I'm expecting us to see a daily stochastic RSI being overbought. We have our divergences, our RSIs are high as well. So although we have a hidden bullish divergence on the daily time frame, we can also see that the RSI is on the rise and that that's going to lead to an overbought area as well. Again, we have got our EMAs and all of these other things that we're looking at, smart money concepts. Again, they all look great on the smaller time frames, but if you zoom on out, not so good. And so I'm still bearish on those larger time frames, but before we can see those moves to the downside, we have to appreciate that we have to go up as well. So yeah, I'm kind of expecting some interesting developments over the next kind of couple of days or a week or so as we kind of go into, you know, December. And for the most part, the mainstream crypto media outlets are very interesting as well. They are basically just printing nothing but bullish news. Lots of sentiment here is very much that we are going up and you know, it's only up from here. They should be buying Bitcoin now. Your fear of missing out and all that kind of stuff that the mainstream media is kind of showing to you is also a big red flag and a big warning sign for those people who are willing to acknowledge it. There are sayings in the crypto space, you should buy the fear and you should sell the greed. Right now, the market's incredibly greedy. With all this bullish idea and this bullish sentiment out there, it's hard to ignore the fact that we are reaching end of structures. And it's hard to ignore that that saying of basically selling into the greed and buying into their fear, I think actually rings true a lot more now than probably it has done previously. So I think all in all, Bitcoin and the crypto space finds itself at a critical moment. We are either going to completely invalidate all of my macro bearish situations and just rally on up to, to brand new all-time highs with no correction in the middle. Or a lot of these bullish people are about to have a dose of reality. You can let me know in the comments down below where you sit on that argument. Do you align with my bearish thinking on these macro level timeframes, considering everything that's going on in the real world? Or do you feel that actually crypto is completely independent, doesn't really care about those macro scenarios, doesn't really have terribly too much impact when it comes to what is going on with, you know, policy over in the US or, or any of that kind of stuff. We don't need to worry about it. We're just going to new all time highs. You can let me know in the comments below which side of the argument you sit on there. In terms of altcoins, well, I think huge opportunity is afoot. I think that many altcoins are going to be in fantastic positions, ready to accumulate as we kind of go into 2024. Maybe even quarter one of 2024, it's gonna present some fantastic opportunities for dollar cost averaging into some altcoins. I think many altcoins potentially have bottomed here in 2023. Many potentially haven't yet found 
their bottoms in this bearish time just yet. And I think that's going to be very evident as we kind of get into 2024. Just my thoughts and opinions on the matter, but that's kind of how I kind of look at the market at the moment. Ultimately though, guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. If you have found it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Until the next one though, guys, have a fantastic day. Thank <laughs> you.